Hello friends, thank you for joining me. Today we are going to make a Mother's Day cross or you could use this for an Easter cross as well or everyday cross. Okay friends, for the next cross, I think this could be considered a Mother's Day cross. I've painted the wreath frame yellow to match the mesh that we're going to be using. We're going to be using this cotton ball mesh. It's 10 and a half inches wide by 10 yards and poly, deco poly mesh that is like a weave type of mesh. I'm going to be using rubber bands. You do not have to have rubber bands. You can just slip them right into the zip tie that's on the cross. Uh, rotary cutter, scissors. I use needle nose pliers and wire cutters. So let's get started. To make the petals, set the cross aside for a minute. I'm going to take my mesh. This mesh is hard for me to cut because it has the cotton ball in it. And my rotary cutter just doesn't seem to want to go through it. So I am using my scissors instead. These are going to be measured at 10 inches. So I just cut it 10 inches. And I already have one of these cut. So I'm going to do the spiral curl. You place your mesh, manufacture side up, turn it, go to the corner and just keep on rolling up. Until you get to the other corner, pull them together. And I take a rubber band. You can use zip ties, rubber bands, whatever you have. Tie that together. I have another piece of 10 inch cotton ball mesh already cut to 10 inches. I'm going to start down here in the corner and roll my way up. And put those together. Alrighty, then I have these two that I'm going to put together. You don't have to put these together with a rubber band. You can just slip these straight into the zip tie the way that they are. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me show you how to, I'll go ahead and put these together because this is forming one petal, one double spiral petal. Put these together. And you have this. It's really pretty. It's a double spiral petal. For my next mesh, again, I'm going to measure this at 10 inches. Go to the 10. The rotary cutter does okay with this. You want to just cut it. There's one. 10 inches again. And there's two. So what we do with these is the exact same thing. Start at one corner and start rolling. Roll until you get to the other corner. Flip it up. Tie it together. And you have one half of a double spiral curl. Same thing with this one. Just roll. You just roll corner to corner. Flip it up. Take your rubber band. And tie it together. 
Now these little hair ties, they call them hair elastics at the Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 when I bought them and I just put them in this container. So now we have the double spiral petal. Put these together. And this is what you end up with. Trim up what you have to as you go along. So we have this and this, and I'm gonna put them on alternating. Yellow, white, yellow, white. So now I've got my cross and I already painted it. I painted it yellow. I'm going to be using these zip ties. You don't have to use them. I just find it much simpler to put the zip ties on the middle two rungs. And if you put these on before, it's a lot quicker. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need for the top of the cross. But I will start with three. So I get those ready on there so it's already prepared. I am going to start with the double yellow petals on the top. So I take my zip tie that I already have on here, slip it up underneath the zip tie. We want it to be at the very end of the cross. We want it at the very top of the cross. Put your petal in and tighten it up. This is where my needle nose pliers come in handy. And then cut off the zip tie. Moving on to the white. It's kind of whitish, silverish. Slip it up underneath the zip tie. Move it up as close as you can. You don't want them exactly on top of each other, but as close as you can. So now I'm going to tighten up this one. I'm just alternating with my double spiral petals. Next one will be yellow. Slip it up underneath the zip tie. As close as you can get it. And pull it up. I think this is going to be a beautiful Mother's Day cross or spring cross. You could leave this up all spring. Put some more zip ties on here. Let me go ahead and put two on. It's just much easier this way. You don't want to pull it very far, just till it clicks a couple times. And again, the next one. So I have two on here. I'm moving on to the white. Slip it up underneath there. And I don't think we're going to need that second one that I already have on there. Tighten this one up. You want to, you want to be able to slide it down pretty close to that previous petal that we put on. Tighten it 
open it up and cut it off. Now I'm going to be working on the bottom of the cross. Here's the top, what we have so far. We'll trim up your phrase at the end or as you go, whatever you choose to do. Okay, now we're going to move on to the bottom. And we're going to go in the same order that we did it on top. So I'll we'll grab some zip ties. So I'm going to prepare the bottom with the zip ties. I'm thinking three per section, but I have to get them on here to make sure. And I'm going to start down here. And since I started the top with yellow, I'm going to start the bottom with yellow. Put them up underneath here. Go down as far as I can. This is really going to extend the cross. Pulling it tight. And I'm just repeating what I'm doing with the yellow, white, yellow, white. This right here. Pull it tight. Whoops. Well, that zip tie broke. Put it underneath here. It's just easier to have them on your cross frame rather than trying to put the zip tie on and then also slipping the pedal up underneath it. I'm going to load the rest of the reframe with my zip ties and I will be back. Okay, friends, I put the pipe or the zip ties on my frame. I'm still working on the bottom section of the cross. I put the zip ties around the two center bars only. So we're going to move on to yellow now. And I'm going to start with yellow because I started with yellow on the bottom and on the top. I already have my zip ties on here prepared. 
Flip it up underneath there. Now you want to bring it down to the, as far as you can on the crossbar. Just like this. This really does extend the length of the crossbar. The crossbar is a little bit short. I don't know why they didn't make it longer, but here we are and this is what we're working with. Back to white. Now see this little stub right here? I like to cut that off. Okay, adding the white. Underneath there as close to the other petal as possible. And tighten it up. So you guys can see, it's just alternating. Simply alternating yellow and the white. Now yellow. And I can already see that I'm going to have to add one more zip tie because I want to end on a yellow. I have one here prepared and that's going to be for white. that down just a bit so I can fit my yellow petal in there and I'll have to add a zip tie this is make a beautiful Mother's Day present I'm making this particular wreath for my mother I think she will love it so again we're ending on a yellow so all the center of the cross will all have yellow in them. Make sure everything's straight. It gets kind of tight down in here. Go like that. And cut it off. I'm gonna finish this side of the crossbar and I will be back and we will put a bow on it. Okay, friends, I've completed the other side of the crossbar. So now I'm gonna put the bow on here. This is the bow that I made. I really want the bow to pop. I put a yellow rose in the center of it. I think it's very pretty. I put a little bit of yellow raffia in it. This looks very springy to me. So I'm just gonna go through here and put my bow on. Grab the zip ties from the other side. I don't wanna smash my bow, so. And of course, I will be letting you know exactly how many double spiral petals that I made for this. As you know, I've made a lot of wreaths on a yard stick, a paint stir stick, and all kinds of things. I just think the yellow look rose looks very, very pretty. So I'm gonna tie it on. I don't wanna turn it over because it will smash it. So, of course, I don't tie it permanently until I know my bow placement is exactly where I want it. Let me know what you guys think of this wreath. It turned out very big. I think it's beautiful. Let me know if you have any questions or anything that you would do differently. And we will get some pictures of this after I cut the bow tails. I think I'm going to do the tails. Uh, I'm just going to do them on a slant. I don't know that I'll curl them. I might. This one's got to be cut this way. And this one this way. I'll cut that one a little bit bigger. 
then as usual i'm gonna leave them straight so you can see them straight first of all and then i will curl them i love my bow tails to be curled if you're interested on how i make a cross on a yardstick i will leave it up here i will leave the link to the video so you can check that out I really think it looks cute curled. But you guys, please let me know what you think. Not everyone likes curled tails. But I think my mom will like it. You just curl them up. And pull them a little bit looser. Or I can do them straight. I'm going to get a picture of both ways. And hey, you guys, please like and subscribe. Just go down below my video, hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot on YouTube. It helps the algorithm share my video more. And if you subscribe, that would be wonderful. And we're going to move on to the next cross video. This is it, guys. My spring Easter spy double spiral cross. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let me know your thoughts in the description box below. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.